Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you now understand the results for Comet K mock round is over, right? So you would have got the allotment. This is the process how to check it. So basically you have to log into the portal with using your application ID and password and then you will have to enter the CAPTCHA as it is shown here. So once you enter the portal, you will see all the regular options which you were feeling uh, seeing earlier. But the new one which is added is now called decision making. You can see decision making is highlighted in the blue. So on that decision making, you have to click. And once you click there, you will be able to see the seat which is allotted to you. So this is just a dummy one. If you are not allotted any seat, then it will show like you have been not allotted any seat in this round. So that means you will have to edit your options in such a way that in the next round you should definitely get a seat. This is only just a, for a mock practice. So the mock, uh, you know, choice filling for the round one has started from 3:30 p.m. to 12 noon in the 11th July. So I will also tell how to basically edit it. So you will have to again go back to the choice filling tab. Return back to the choice filling tab from the decision tab. In the choice filling tab you will see this type of link. Refresh is there and there is action. Under action there you will find the view. And if you click on the view, right, you will find this page which will be com coming, which will be the college selection page. On the top, instruction will be given that you can select by college or by course, which I uh, explained previous time also. And you will have add option on a college and course. You will have to select and preference number one, two, last preference will number will be there, right? And there will be a arrow button as you can see with which you can go up and down, right? Again, there will be no submit option, only save option will be there. So you can edit, add more colleges from the you know, drop down list or otherwise, and then again have a declaration, save, and continuously keep on doing till the time your choice filling is complete. So this is just an example. So that's all I have to cover in this video. Thanks for watching and best of luck for you to do a round one choice filling. Take care and bye.